In this WordPress tutorial for beginners, I'm going to be talking about dynamic WordPress websites or advanced WordPress websites. Hi, my name is Mac and I create marketing and web design tutorials. So if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Okay, so let's start with a scenario here. Let's say someone comes to you and they say they want a car rental website to be designed. And uh, with this website, it needs the ability to upload an image of the website, an image gallery, uh, the transmission uh, of the car, the, uh, the size of the engine, and also the color of the car. Now, how would you achieve this using WordPress? Now, if you had asked me a few weeks ago, I would have just said to you, you know what, that's a uh, dynamic website. You need to find a programmer that can do this for you. But you know what? For the past uh, two or three weeks, I've been taking a look at a plugin called Toolset. Now, this plugin allows you to create what are known as custom post types. Now, when you take a look at WordPress, it has two custom post types. It has the posts, which are like the blog posts, and also the pages. Okay. Now, let's say you want to build a membership website. So that would mean that uh, the plugin also creates what are known as custom post types. So this is similar to what I'm trying to explain here. So what the advantage of using, let's say, um, Toolset is you can create your own custom post type. So you are actually designing a dynamic, complicated website without the need of learning PHP. So when I was going through these tutorials, and by the way, I also have someone from the Toolset uh, team showing me how Toolset works, because when I first started using it, it was very, very complicated. So um, you can imagine trying to uh, work out how uh, all these custom post types work well together and how you add information on it. It was just way too, too much for me. So what I did a few years ago is I tried it and I just, you know, just said, no, forget about it. You know, I'll just concentrate on just designing normal websites. But this fascination of building dynamic website has led me now to even go deeper into learning how to design these dynamic websites. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe because I will be posting a lot of uh, tutorials on how to build dynamic or advanced WordPress websites using Toolset. Okay, so moving on. So I've given you the scenario now. You need to build a car rental website. You need to be able to add images, the color of the car, the uh, engine size, the transmission, and also any other information you want to add to that. Now, to add even more uh, uh, to this functionality, let's say you want to search based on the engine size. Now, this can also be achieved using this uh, plugin called Toolset. Uh, of course, it takes um, a bit of uh, work to set it all up. But uh, it's exciting that these are the sort of uh, features that you can uh, achieve with uh, Toolset. Now, currently, if you look at my tutorials that I've been creating, they are pretty much how to create beautifully looking websites uh, using WordPress and Divi, and also mainly focusing on the design aspect of it. But uh, what is exciting for me now is to actually turn these websites and make them even useful. Now, there's one question I asked when I, had, uh, when I uh, did my interview with uh, the CEO of uh, Toolset. In fact, it's a company called On The Go Systems, but it has two plugins that, that they are mainly known for. One of them is WPML. It's a uh, language translation plugin and Toolset, of course, which is what I'm talking about here. So during the interview, I actually put him on the, on the spot and I said, how about uh, if, you, if I wanted to create a website where, uh, like let's say I'm a design agency and I create a website for my clients, and I want my client to be able to add data onto the website without the need of me maintaining that website or, or updating that website moving on. Apparently, this can be achieved. And I found that fascinating because the amount of times where I've built a website and I've had to uh, say to the client, send me all the details via email and I'll update the website for you. I mean, it was countless uh, times. And to be honest, unless uh, the client is paying you a decent amount of money for the maintenance fees. It, it can be quite a lot of work for you to be adding that information. And even uh, not only that, sometimes you'd get a client that says, I just want you to design my website. I want you to look beautiful, but I want to add content onto my website by myself. So this is where this feature now comes in, this plugin tool set. So you can actually design a website where you can assign specific uh, areas for the website and say, right, this is where you add your image, this is where you add your text, uh, this is where you add whatever content that is um, 
needed for that website. So I know that if it's a basic website where uh, it's just uh, images and text, you can assign uh, these user roles in Divi. But let's say it's even more information like this car rental website where they want to add their own uh, cars on the website. So you can imagine this could not be done using um, the roles that you get in Divi. So these are the features that this tool uh, that this toolset plugin has, and uh, I can't wait to create more tutorials about this. So I just thought I'll just go through this with you and uh, just give you an idea of how dynamic WordPress websites can be achieved using certain plugins. Now, Toolset is not the only plugin that, uh, that can do this. There's also one called Pods, and there's also Advanced Custom Post Types. So these are the most uh, popular ones, but with Toolset, during my research, I just came across it and I thought it had even more features than these two that I've mentioned. So uh, like I said, I'll be creating a lot of tutorials on it, and uh, I'm really excited to be going through this, this content. So as soon as it's ready, I will uh, definitely start posting this uh, on uh, the website. So uh, do look out, look out for my first initial uh, tutorials next week. I'll also do a review of the plugin and also how it integrates with Divi. And uh, also uh, sometime this week, I'll be also uh, releasing the interview that I did with Amir, the CEO of On The Go Systems, which is the company that is behind uh, custom post apps. All right, so uh, I thought I'll share this with you because uh, it is really exciting. And I'm sure if you've wondered how uh, these advanced websites are created, at least now you know. But this does not only end with just uh, car rental websites. You can build uh, business directories, you can build membership websites, uh, and pretty much any type of website that requires you to uh, create a specific content for that website can be achieved using Toolset. All right, so uh, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.